Hello, Mark Ostfeldt from ADM Investor Services International with some thoughts on what's been going on in the bond and credit markets and how that also uh, compares with what's been going on with the equity markets. So my first table is a reminder to us all of the sad situation that we find ourselves with government bond yields that uh, even in a country like Brazil where we are concerned about the level of debt and the performance of the economy all you can get on their 10-year dollar bonds is 377 and we still have a very prevalent amount of negative yields within the European uh, space and obviously within Japan, which obviously forces a lot of investors to look elsewhere, particularly given the sharp fall that we've seen in US Treasury yields this year. So if we move to my next, uh, interesting to just compare um, the sort of rallies that we've had both um, in terms of the US 10-year and in terms of the German Bund. And to see that we're basically flattening out now as we go into the back end of the year. The Q4 performance thus far has basically been uh, a correction higher um, and then establishing a sideways trend. And I'm sure that there are a lot of people who would like to see it stay that way, though with those very pitiful yields, they are going to be uh, <coughs> uh, have a challenge for looking for what they might invest elsewhere. Um, let's also um, go to my third chart, which is the um, US Treasury uh, Volatility Index, the so-called MOVE Index. And as we can see, we saw a fairly sharp spike higher as we were going into that situation where we were discounting ever more in the way of Fed rate cuts. But since the Fed has clearly signaled uh, that it is coming to, or it's at least at a pause point for its um, um, monetary policy outlook in terms of rate cutting. So the volatility in the US Treasury market has calmed down, uh, which of course then leaves us with this idea of what do we do with markets, which we cut, government bond markets, that are becoming much less tradable because lower volatility obviously means less price activity. So um, I think there's an interesting comparison to be made here. So the first, uh, 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 the last two charts that I have today um, compares what we've had in the way of performance over the past two years between the US high yield bond market and the JP Morgan emerging market bond spread, that's primarily dollars. I think what uh, we've got here is typically these two have been actually quite well correlated. One can see that in the first three months of 2018. But what we've had of late um, <clears throat> is a situation where we're starting to actually see a lot of divergence. Last year, it was the case that the high yield bond market outperformed very sharply relative to uh, the emerging market bond market. And this year, it's been the case of precisely the opposite. That spread now is so wide between the high yield bond index, which is being driven wider primarily by the energy sector and the emerging market bond sector, which hasn't exactly facing great prospects as rising defaults in Asia, which has been the major uh, issuer. Um, so uh, you know, one wonders whether this is actually a situation which can hold um, or whether that um, widening that we've seen in the high yield bond indices um, is going to actually spill over into uh, the emerging market area. Much, of course, will depend to a certain extent on the US-China trade talks. And so to my final chart, um, and again, this is about divergence. Um, as one can see, and I've had this chart up so many times, um, generally, there is a negative correlation between the performance of the S&P 500 and the high yield credit average spread. Um, and that's held for much of the year, except of late. In the last three months, we've basically seen the S&P 500 ignore the widening that we've seen in high yield credit. And now we're in a situation where one wonders whether which one is going to prove to be correct and whether the S&P 500 is going to be um, <coughs> dragged lower. And those are the thoughts for this week.